Now let's see how we can use the fillet edges option to create fillets in the edges of a 3D object. So here you can see a 3D solid. So in the 3D solid, you want to create rounds at this edges. So there is an option of uh, in the uh, solid tab, in the solid editing panel, you have this option called fillet edge. So select the fillet edge option and select the edge where you want to put the round. So here, if I want to do a single edge over here, and if I want to give a radius, let's say of 300 units, so it will show you and a preview of it before you do a fillet. So you can go with the radius, let's say 100 units, and then press enter. And here there's an arrow that is, uh, you can enter again to accept it. So here you have done a fillet to this particular edge. Now let's do it again. You have this fillet edge option. You want to fillet this edge. So with the radius, particular radius, you can let's say 4150 is the radius I want to give. So uh, here, uh, let's say if once you give the radius and then let me change it to the side, press enter, a grip will be created so you can use this grip to increase or decrease the size of the fillet dynamically and then if you want to accept it press enter so this is how you create fillet in single edge now if you want to create a edge uh, in loop let's say or in chain so you go with the fillet edge option the command is fillet edge you can write fillet edge and select the chain option so select an edge chain for example if you select this so if you select only this edge option edge over here and uh, if you click into it so there will be a radius that you can do so here uh, let's say if we give a radius let's say 100 units press enter so this edge will be filleted or let's say if you want to go with the chain option so fillet edge, select the chain option and uh, select all the edges that you want to fillet at a time and press enter and here you have this again, the option. So here if you basically drag it with the left mouse, you can see the fillet is happening over here, right. Or if you want to give a radius, you can give a radius of your value, whatever radius you want. So go with the radius and let's say if I want to give a radius of 100, so it will be filleted and then accept it. So this is the edge option, uh, the chain option in which you can fillet multiple edges. So this was fillet and then there is an option called chamfer where again, let's say if you select an edge over here and select another edge of the same face so let's say you want to have the chamfer here if you want to have a chamfer over here so you need to give this particular uh, edge this and press enter and then you can see how the chamfer is done so so if you give a distance right now of the chamfer let's come up with a distance first so we have a chamfer edge option and uh, Let's me give the distance as distance 1 as 50 and distance 2 as 100 and I select an edge over here. So with this you can see that the fillet, the basic fillet is created another edge of the same face. So, so you have this if you select this one. So if you select this one, so it will be chamfered in all the edges but if you want to chamfer it in a single edge so you can go with the you can undo it you can give the command chamfer edge select the edge first of all set the distance one let's say distance one is 100 and uh, distance two is 50 select an edge that you want to chamfer for example if you want to chamfer this so it asks you another edge on the same face or press enter let's say if you press enter the chamfer will be created in that particular edge uh, that you have selected because you are not doing a multiple chamfer and then you have got two arrows so you can click on any of the arrow and then you know 
you can uh, basically change the distance over here by double clicking it so click on it and then this particular distance icon will be displayed and then you can chamfer it so this is how you do a chamfer but if you want to do chamfer in the multiple edges so you have this uh, chamfer edge and uh, then you can have this loop option so first enter an option so you can accept it and uh, select an edge in the loop let's say you can have you can select this one and press enter so now you can see that uh, the but if you want to give a distance let's say it is going uh, the chamfer is going throughout so if let's say if you want to go for a loop that means entire uh, uh, edge of the face so you can uh, directly go to chamfer go with the loop first of all uh, select the distance i would say 100 and uh, 50 would be the good distance go for the loop select it press enter enter so it is in the loop all the edges will be chamfered so this is the chamfer edge option in uh, so this is uh, the 3d chamfer that you can do okay so apart from that so i will be also discussing about uh, the 3d rotate option as well as 3d move now let's say if you have rectangle here so i'm taking a rectangle i'm not taking a solid right now so if i want to rotate it with the normal tool rotate tool 2d so it rotates at a point so you can see that it rotates at a point so if you want to rotate it in an axis so you have got two option one is the command is the 3d rotate now look at this command what 3d rotate command is all about so here when we select the 3d rotate option anti-clockwise angle direction angle base is zero the moment you select the object press enter and select a base point now axis tripod will be displayed now this shows a particular axis this is the axis for the x in the x axis so you can basically uh, you know drag it and uh, you can rotate it like this so let me because this is a dynamic one dynamic rotate that you can do so 3d rotate so i'll just give you more illustration select the object select the base point you see this entire uh, axis the green red and the blue so if you want to have the green one so green axis would be the y axis you can see here so keep your mouse over here so you have picked the rotation axis now it says start point from where you want to start so i want to start from here and then start about if you can type an angle that is fine or you can dynamically rotate it in this particular axis so if you want to put an angle anti-clockwise is positive so you go with 3d rotate option select the object and then the base point over here and let's say if you take the green axis uh, which is the y axis and the angle start point so you start the rotation from here and let's say if you want to give a 45 degree angle so it will rotate at 45 so similarly we can try with the uh, other axis so this is 3d rotate option that you can use in autocad 